The Premier League is one of the hardest leagues to play in in the world, and even harder to win. In today's video, we're going to build a team of the best players to have never won the Premier League, and just to see how close they came to winning it, including several Ballon d'Or winners and legends of the game that sadly could not get their hands on this prestigious trophy, along with completing some challenges with this team at the end, also with some forfeits. So, as you can see from the screen, we have 5 85 times 10s for every challenge that I fail, and if I do not win the game, I will have to discard whatever I get in these 85 times 10. It's that simple. Now, the player we're building this team around, he's made 166 appearances in the Premier League. 53 goals, 22 assists. Once he left the Premier League, he went on and won five Champions Leagues with Real Madrid. Never really got close to winning the Premier League, but he was one of the most outstanding players and was also player of the year in the Premier League whilst he played. You've probably guessed it. Gareth Bell. Never really come too close to winning the Premier League. Obviously, playing for Tottenham at the time, they were never really title challengers. But Tottenham is the history of the Tottenham. Now, we're going to stick with another player that left the Premier League to go to La Liga. Playing for Barcelona, he made 110 appearances in the Premier League. 69 goals, 23 assists. One of the best players to ever play in the Premier League. Closest he come to winning the Premier League was finishing second with Liverpool. And just to pre-warn you, this guy loves a bite. That's right, going in up front for us is Luis Suarez. Come ever so close in the 2013 14 season obviously that that penultimate game against Chelsea where Gerrard slipped sort of half cost obviously Liverpool winning the league and obviously the game at Selhurst where they were 3-0 up and drew 3-0 again was another game that cost them and Suarez from winning the Premier League title you're gonna cry now are you black? now our next player 297 appearances 136 clean sheets Probably the best goalkeeper not to win the Premier League. The closest he come was in the 2008-2009 season with Liverpool when they lost the title to Manchester United by four points. His name, Pepe Reina. Now, lining up just in front of Pepe Reina, a former Chelsea centre-back, French. One of the best centre-backs in history of football. Played for AC Milan as well, making 158 appearances, six goals. Probably played for Chelsea in the wrong era. That's right, Marcel Desailly. Now, line up in this right centre-back position. Obviously, there's not that many defenders in this team, so we're gonna have to move the team around a little bit. Again, another five times Champions League winner, Ballon d'Or winner. Wasn't really renowned for playing in the Premier League. Obviously, he was very, very good. Obviously, really made his name when he went to Real Madrid. Making 127 appearances, 13 goals, 15 assists. Former teammate of Gareth Bale, Luka Modric comes into this team. Never really got close to winning the Premier League. But again, another quality player. Now, line up at centre-back, another midfield player. Obviously, like I said, I've got to move the team around to get everyone in. A former Ballon d'Or winner, played for AC Milan. Only made 49 appearances, four goals, played for Chelsea, ended up being a player manager in the end as well. That's right, it's this beast here, Rude Swillet. Again, he never really got close to the Premier League title. Now, lining up on the left-hand side, one of the best players on FIFA this year. Also, one of the best players to play in the Premier League. Probably not mentioned about too much. Played more in the 90s. His career stats don't sound too good, but 195 appearances, 21 goals, 42 assists. Came close to winning the Premier League with Newcastle in the 1996-97 season. Again, losing that just to Manchester United on that final day. One of the best rants ever that you will see. We're still fighting for this title, and he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. That's right. David Ginola is going to come in on that left-hand side. Come in this central attacking midfield position. Again, he's another ex-Chelsea player. Come towards the back end of his career. Was absolutely magical in the Prem. Making 229 appearances, 59 goals, 42 assists. He never come too close to winning the Premier League, but... He was one of the great players to play in the Premier League. That's right, the little Italian magician himself, Gian Franco Zola. Now, line up up front is again, is another current player still playing in the Premier League. 288 appearances, 188 goals, 43 assists. More than likely going to be the Premier League's all-time top goal scorer and England's all-time top goal scorer. Now, he can still win the Premier League, obviously. He's still got a few years behind him. But the closest he came to winning it was when Tottenham came third. What? I know, come third, they were second. It was toe-to-toe -to -toe between them and Leicester when they won it in that miraculous season back in the 2015-2016 season. Going up front, Harry Kane. Tottenham thrown away a two-goal lead at Stamford Bridge, meaning that the title goes to Leicester City. In the end, Tottenham ended up finishing third as well. I like it. Now, doing a job for us in this central midfield position. He is normally a striker, but again, like I said, I've got to move people around to get him in the team. 349 appearances, 126 goals. Playing for Liverpool, Tottenham. 
Wolves. Never really got too close to winning it, obviously. Never played for Liverpool and, and Tottenham in the right eras, but regarded as one of the best players to play in the Premier League, you might guess this one, Robbie Keane. Now, we finish off with this last player. 504 appearances in the Premier League. 120 goals. Liverpool's greatest footballer of all time. The closest he came to winning it a couple of times. Back in 2008-2009 season where he finished second to Manchester United and in the 2013-2014 season where Liverpool were top of the league. Unfortunately, this player slipped gave the ball to Denver Bar as Liverpool lost 2-0 to Chelsea, which then gave the title back to Manchester City and put it in their hands to win it. Probably the most unfortunate player to not win it, Steven Gerrard. The one trophy that eluded him in his Liverpool career and probably in his life as well after getting so close to winning it. Literally so, so close. But again, he just couldn't get his hands on the trophy and sadly it wasn't the fairytale ending for him at Liverpool. So in order to keep all three of these 85 times 10 back, we need to do some challenges. So the first one, nice and simple, just win the game. Second one is to score from outside the box. We've got Janola, we've got Gerard, we've got Zola. So many long range shooters in the team. So that will be another one. And the last but not least is to not concede. For every goal that I concede, I will have to discard one pack. Three goals conceded equals three 85 times 10s discarded. Gotta try and get a goal from outside the box. There it is. There it is. Steven Gerrard, Gerrard. He slipped on his f Oh, Harry oh. Kane. There's the volley. There's the volley. Let's go. Into Suarez, he's round the goalkeeper. Match one, another 85 times 10 secured and no people bitten. So we completed two out of three challenges. So it means we have to discard one of our 85 times 10. So we'll start off with a discard back. Oh, it's team of the year. Oh, we've got to discard Jorginho. Okay. Okay, I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. Tots. Ah, Lewandowski. Not bad, not bad. Finish off the video, last one. It's another Tots. We'll skip that. 